Hi guys, hope you are doing great. So our today's question is container with most water. It is one of the most liked questions on lead code. Given n non-negative integers a1 to a n where each represents a point at coordinate i comma a of i, n vertical lines are drawn such that two endpoints of line i is at i comma a of i and i comma zero. So that means that you're given an array of integers, right? And for the element given at the index i, the value is the height of the line, right? That is the index comma height of the line, that is the tip of the line. And the index comma zero is the bottom of the line. So that's the whole line and the value of the element represents the height of the line. Find two lines which together with x-axis forms a container such that the container contains the most water. You may not slant the container and n is at least 2, which tells us that we don't need to take care of any base conditions. Height array would always have some values inside it. Let's have a look at the given example. So it states that this is an example of the input that we would have. And uh, uh, let's say the way we want to find the maximum area would be to basically compare each line with the other line, find what is the area between the two of them, and then in a similar fashion, find the maximum area between any two lines in the given plane. Um, so, for example, to find the area between 8 and 7, which is at these indexes, uh, which is at one and the last index, we just need to find the difference between the indexes of the two lines, which gives us the difference between them on the x plane, right? And whichever is the minimum of the two is the maximum amount of water that it can store. So basically it will be seven and eight. The minimum is seven, so we pick seven. And then there are seven units between it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven on the X plane and seven on the Y plane, which means seven into seven, that gives us 49 in total, right? All right, so I hope the question is clear. Uh, let's have a look at the possible approaches we can take to solve this question. Take a minute, pause the video, look at them and get back. All right, so I think we have multiple winners here today. This is possible for a lot of other questions as well. There might be multiple approaches that fit in the given conditions and what's required of the question, but it's up to us to decide what is the better fit. So I think here the two-pointer solution is going to be a good one because one, we just need as a result a value. We don't need any pairs. Um, so we don't need basically any collection out there. Another thing is that we need to search through all the elements and we need to compare each element with the other elements of the array. So in such a scenario, typically two pointers is a good solution. So let's see how we can implement that. So what we would be doing is that we'll just have a value called max, which will store our answer, which we'll initialize with zero. And then we will take two pointers, one at zero and the other one at the last element of the array, right? And then we will move these pointers towards each other. Now, how we decide which pointer moves is that uh, whichever pointer is at a line, which is of the lesser height, we move that in a hole that the next one and the bigger one, which is the current one, will give us a more area, will give us a better answer. Uh, and if, so for example, here, one and seven will be our starting points and the area between them would be this whole eight minus one is the minimum, so eight into one, that is eight, and then since one is the lesser one out of one and seven, we move the pointer to eight over here and let this one be at seven. Now we calculate the area between eight and seven. And 
update our max, right? And then we see that 7 is the lesser one. So we basically move the pointer at 7 to 3. And then we find the area between 8 and 3 and so on until we reach a point where there is just one gap between the two lines. Okay. So I guess um, the implementation would make it more clear. Let's get started. So let's take an integer max, which will store our result and initialize it with 0. Let's also take i that will always be 0 at the very beginning and j, which will be the last element of the given array. And minus 1. Okay. Now we want to go on until i is less than j. We don't want them to be equal again because we want some gap between the two lines, right? Okay. So let's just first calculate the area between the current i and j, okay, which will be j minus i because we know that j would always be bigger than i multiplied by math dot min. So let's just get the minimum of the two. Okay. After that, now if our max is less than the area that we just calculated, let's just update max. Right? And let's move the pointer. So if our element at i is less than the element at j, then we move i. Right? Otherwise, we just move j. Okay. Cool. And we just return max. Let's see if this runs. Great. Let's try to submit this. Great. So the time complexity for this is O of n because we're just traveling each element of the array just once and the space complexity would be O of 1 because we are not using any extra collection to store the elements of the array. So I hope you really like this video and please share, comment, subscribe for more such videos. Take care and keep coding. Bye-bye.